Hi everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to eLearning and I hope you all had a wonderful spring break. So today for math, we are going to be starting geometry, which is unit eight. And if you could all turn to page 273, we're gonna be starting unit eight, lesson one. So this is called points, lines, and line segments. Here we can see our key vocabulary terms. So we have point, line, line segment, and endpoint. So you might be familiar with these terms, but it's really important that we do know the differences between these. So for starters, the simplest geometric figure is a point. So a point is shown by a dot and it is named by a capital letter. So here we have point X. We know it's a point because we have a dot and our capital letter. So another example would be point B. So we have our dot and our capital letter, or we could do a point R, our point and our capital letter. So next we have a line. So a line is a straight path that goes on forever in both directions. So what's important to remember about a line is that it goes on forever in both directions. So let's underline forever in both directions. So when you draw a line, you put arrows on the ends to show that it goes on and on. Lines can be named by any two points on the line. So if we look at this first line here, we can see that when we draw a line, we put arrows on the ends to show that the line continues on and on. So here we have the arrow here and here. So in this line, our two points we have are A and B. So if we want to name this line, we would use our two points and put them together. So we have A, B. To show that this is a line, we have to put an arrow on top going in both directions. This shows us that this is a line. This arrow right here going in both directions shows that it's gonna go on forever in both directions, not just one. So here we have points G and K, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to write our points, so G, K, and then we're going to do our arrow going in both directions. And here we have one more line. We have points B, P, sorry, and N. So we're going to write P and N, and we're going to do our arrow going in both directions. So what is the difference between a line and a line segment? So a line segment is part of a line. It has two ends, which are called endpoints. So it has two ends. Let's underline that because that's important to know about a line segment. So a line segment has two endpoints. If we look here, we can see that it has this endpoint R and another endpoint S. There's no arrows in either direction. So it has a starting and a stopping point. So segments are named by their endpoints. So here we have R and S. So we would write R, S. And on top of it, we're going to put a line like that. The difference between a line and line segment is here we put an arrow going in both directions to show that it was a line. But a line segment has two stopping points. There's no arrows, doesn't keep going. So we just have to put a line on top to show that it's a line segment. So here we have points W and T. So we could write W and T, and then we're gonna put another line on top to show that it's a line segment. Here we have D and J. So we have endpoint D and another endpoint J. So we can write D, J, and we can put our line on top. So the big difference between a line and a line segment is that a line goes on forever in both directions, but a line segment has two ends. So a line segment, we can actually measure a line segment because we could start at either of these endpoints and we can measure to see how long it is. A line, we can't actually measure this arrow to this arrow because it's gonna keep going on forever and ever. It can just keep going on. So we need these endpoints to be able to measure. So that's why a line segment we can measure, but a line we cannot. So here 
For number one, it says, you can measure to find the length of a line segment, but you cannot measure to find the length of a line. Explain why. So for this one, let's write this together. So you can measure, so we can write, you can measure a line segment at one endpoint and find the distance to the other endpoint. So you can measure a line segment at one endpoint and find the distance to the other endpoint. But for a line up here, for a line, you cannot measure it because there's no place to start measuring and there's no place to stop because like we said, it goes on forever and ever. So a line goes on forever in both directions there is no place oops, sorry I'm running out of room there is no place to start measuring and no place to stop. So you can just go over that really quick. So you can measure a line segment at one endpoint and find the distance to the other point. So you can start at either of these and you can measure to see the distance. But you cannot measure to find the length of a line because the arrows show us that it's going to keep going on forever and ever. So you can't actually measure the distance of a line. So once you all have that written, we're going to move on to the next page. So page 274. So for page 274, we're going to be working on drawing points, rays, and angles. And our key vocab terms are angle, ray, and vertex. So an angle is formed by two rays with the same endpoint called the vertex. So let's underline two rays. So an angle is formed by two rays with the same endpoint called the vertex. You can label figures with letters to name them. So this is angle A, B, C. Its rays are B, A and B, C. So first let's look at number two. So it says draw and label a point, write the name of your point. So, we know that a point is represented by a dot and a letter. So here we can write R. So our point is R. For number three, it says draw a ray. Label the endpoint, write the name of your ray. So what is a ray? A ray starts with one endpoint. So let's draw one point. And then it's going to extend forever in one direction. And how do we show that? We use an arrow. So it's like a line, how we have an arrow, but it only goes in one direction. It doesn't go in two directions. It goes in one direction. So this, let's label this as our endpoint. So that's our endpoint. And we can label it A. Now let's add another point. Let's add B. So now we have endpoint A and we have our point B. So to name the ray, we have to start with our endpoint. So when you're naming a ray, you have to make sure you're starting with your endpoint, which is A, and then our point B. And then to show it's a ray, 
you're going to put an arrow on top going in one direction. So like a line how we had the arrow going in both directions, for a ray we're going to do the line going in one direction. So then we can write that up here as well, A, B with our arrow. So now for number four, it says draw an angle, label the vertex and the two rays. Write the name of your angle. So like we said, an angle is formed by two rays with the same endpoint. So if we take these two pencils, so let's get this to stay. So these, so the two erasers, that's representing the same endpoint which is called the vertex. And then here we can see like our two, it's like our two arrows almost. It's going out in the opposite directions, but this right here is the same endpoint and it's called the vertex. So like right here, we have A, B, and C. So we can pretend this is A, B, and C. This B right here, that's our vertex. So for number four, we're going to draw an angle, so we need to start with one ray. So if we take this right here, if we take the ray and put it going up, so we have our A and then point B. So now we are going to have to do another ray going in the opposite direction. So we could do it like this. And this we could this would be C. So we can see here we have one ray. Here we have another ray. So this A B right here, that's one ray. And A C is another ray. So this A right here, that's our vertex. Because that's the endpoint, that's the same endpoint shared by these. So let's see if we were to break that up. So just to show this a little better, so here we have our angle A, B, C. And this is split into two rays because this A, B, that's one ray. This A, C, that's another ray. So this is a ray. And this is a ray. But when we combine them, it creates an angle. And this A, it's a common endpoint. It's the same endpoint. And that's what's represented right here. So now if we write the name of our angle, we can write this a few different ways. So we could write angle A. We could write angle B. A, C, or we could even write angle C, A, B. But when we're using all of our points, we have to make sure that our vertex is written in the middle. So here we have the vertex written in the middle, and here we have the vertex written in the middle. I'm going to write here, I'm going to write angle B, A, C looking at it, I would just start here. I would start B to A to C. So that's a way to write it, B, A, C. And we need to make sure to include this right here to show that it's an angle. So now with our new information learned, we're going to, there is a Google Forms on Google Classroom for you to fill out. Um, just going over some of the new information that we learned.